Hello, everyone. It's my great honor to be here to have this lecture. My name is Jing. I'm from Confucius Institute. I'm a Chinese teacher. Welcome to our special topic session, Numbers in China. In this section, you can read and write 10 Chinese characters, read 10, read 90% Chinese numbers, and know more about 10 numbers culture in China. When we talk about um, numbers, they are everywhere, right? Here I want to introduce you some uh, Asian Chinese calculating tool. This is Abacus, and this is Counting Road. It's Asian, very Asian Chinese uh, calculating tool. It's older than Abacus. So the numbers uh, are originally the size for calculating, but different culture have different connotations about the numbers. By comparing them, we can understand well and communicate better. So today, let's explore how do Chinese think about numbers. First one, in my basic Chinese class, actually we have learned this one before. E E number one, E. You can follow the picture to write it. Here, I want to point out most of Chinese characters are writing order from left, left, left to right, from up to down, from inside to outside. So, how does this Chinese character evolve? In ancient China, people use a horizontal route to show number one. It's easy to understand, right? In Chinese culture, people think number one, Yi, is for the head of everything. It means beginning and universe. Nowadays, it seems to Western culture means winner. Next number, number two, R, R, yes. You can follow me and repeat it, R. How to write it from left to right, two lines. In ancient China, people use two horizontal rods to show number two. R, number two, R. In Chinese culture, number two is the smallest even number. Chinese like even numbers, especially two. It means that good things always compares. For example, when people get married, uh, this paper cutting is Chinese favorite because it's a plurality of Chinese characters. Xi means happiness. If you are interested in this Chinese number, you can link link. Next number. Sun. Sun. Even you, even you have muted, but I trust you have follow me. Sun, yes, three lines. In ancient, this chance character is from two plus one. It's easy to memorize, right? Number one, Yi have a line. Two have two lines. Three has three lines. In Chinese culture, sun, this Chinese character, um, mean stands for heaven, human being, and earth. 
So it shows the relationship of human and nature. We are a whole. We need to cherish nature. In addition, it also shows stabilization and safety because three of measured points in a region determine a plane. Next, we will learn the number four. So you can guess that it have four lines. Yes, uh, if you have, you can type your answer on a uh, chat box. We can interaction. Mm. Do you think it have four lines? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> four lines. Yes, Michelle, I have. <laughs> yes, obviously not. Number four. Firstly, we can follow it to Reddit and later I will explain for you how does this trans character evolve? Why uh, this number four doesn't have four lines? From up to, up to down, from left to right, from inside to outside. Follow the Chinese uh, writing habit. About the evolution, number four is from two plus two. Two plus two. As, as time goes by, people change from the horizontal rods to vertical rods. And because number four is from two plus two, so people put them together. Gradually, it became this form. Does it make sense? Si. Yes, this Chinese character means four. In Chinese culture, si sounds like Chinese character si means death. So this number is a taboo for Chinese when they pick form or plate number. Another example. In China, you won't say fourth floor in some elevators. Just like in American, you won't say 13th floor in, in some elevators, not every, just some elevators. It's a bad, mm, bad number for Chinese. But now we have learned four Chinese numbers, one, two, three, four. Let's practice. Please move your mouse and find annotation in left part of your screen and write the Chinese characters in the following squares. Okay, Larissa have request. Uh, sorry, hold, wait a minute. Actually, we will do that, yes, in this slide. Go ahead, move your mouse and, mm -hmm. every, uh, every number only has three chances to read it. So when you write it and read it, you can unmute. Oh, who write it? This number, number one. What's that? What's that? Yes, very good. Then is right. Who does this one? Please read it. I think that one is me. Sun. Mm -hmm. Sun. Very good, Sam, very good. Thank you, Larissa. Next one, who write it? Open your map and... I did, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, very good. 
and who writes the uh, number one? And please read it. It's a good chance to practice your Chinese. Come on. E. E, very good. So number one, E. Number three, San. I have noticed your order is right from left to right. Next. You can ask the annot annotation and write. Thank you. Yes, the writing order is right. Many people cho choose to accept the harder one. Please read it. How to read it? How to pronounce? Do you want to pronounce it? I can try too. Is it R? Uh, yes, R. And then four is S. 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 Yes, just pay attention to the tone. Pronounce. Yes, very good. S. Okay. S. Who write the S in the? number two squares so i have noticed many you have uh, graced uh, a lot about these four numbers let's continue our learning number five Ooh. Ooh. yes repeat and follow me Ooh. This chance character is third tone. Ooh. How to read it? Left to right, up to down. You can take notes or just use your finger. Ooh. So how does this chance character evolve? In ancient China, people use the uh, four uh, counting rows to show number five, two. So you will be wonder, you will be wonder, uh, what how to distinguish number four and number five? People cross the two roads to distinguish. There is another reason people cross the two roads. In the development of in the history of number development, uh, people the order is one, two, three, four, five. So when people develop the number five, five is biggest number in that time, right? Chi Asian people think everything converted in the heaven and earth makes a whole world. So. Number five is the whole world. Number five is biggest number in that time. Does it make sense? Give me some feedback. Yes, it makes sense. Yes, thank you. Mm. Oh, we can move on. In the nowadays in cyberspeak. Somebody will use u the five 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 with its pronunciation like whimpering imitates a person's sad cry. Next number, liu. Liu. How to write it? You can follow the picture to write it. Liu. Number six. Originally this chance character's meaning. Uh, yes, Michelle. In the, this chance character's original meaning is cottage. Do you think 
it looks like a cottage. And then people borrow this chain sculpture to show number six, just the borrow. In Chinese culture, number six, Liu, is one of the favorite numbers for Chinese. It means flow and smooth. So it symbolizes happiness, well-being, and success. It's a good number for Chinese, six. In cyberspeak, young people often use liu liu liu, liu liu liu. It means awesome because liu sounds like Chinese character liu means very skillful. Liu liu liu. Yes, please remember this. After that, I will test you. But in Western culture, liu 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 six 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 is sitting, so it's not. Lucky number for Westerners. It's a difference uh, from Chinese and American. Next number, seven. Qi. 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 Here is a question. Do you remember what's the cultural meaning of one? You can type your answer on chat box or open, milk, uh, open Mac. Universe, very good. Very good. Very good, Larissa um, and Michelle. It, it's for the head of everything. So it means universe or everything. And people use the vertical lines to cut everything to show it is biggest biggest one in the world because of when people develop the number seven seven is the biggest number in that time so this trans character show seven is biggest make sense i hope so in chinese culture Number seven, qi, was widely used in Asian Chinese culture relating to love. Chinese Valentine's Day is on 7th July of lunar calendar. Seven is a lucky number in Western culture. Seven sounds like heaven. Being seven heaven means being very happy. So seven, for Westerner, it's a good number. Next number, very important number for Chinese. Ba. Ba. Looks like very easy because it only has two strokes. Ba. The original, uh, this Chinese character means separate. People borrow this chance character to show number eight. Ba. Separate, right? What's the number eight cultural meaning? Ba is one of the favorite numbers for Chinese. It sounds like a uh, Chinese character. Fa means to be rich. Let's look at the first for example, opening ceremony for the Beijing Olympics was held on August 8th, 2008, at precisely eight minutes and eight seconds past 8 p.m. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yes, that's mm, very typical exam uh, example. And another example, people often use eight ba, to be their plate number because uh, meaning is very good. Fa 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 means to be very very rich. Here is some uh, plate num plate numbers press press in China. A uh, most uh, three thousand dollars. It's expensive, right? Besides plate number, people Chinese use six or eight to be there. Phone number two. 
So now you can think about your uh, phone number or plate number. Do you have many six or eight? If you have many six or eight, uh, your plate or phone number will be sold at a very good price in China. Next number. Oh, another Chinese culture is about the number eight. When we turn it turn eight to the side, it means infinite. That's another reason people like this number. Infinite wealth. Nowadays, some some young people will use ba ba to replace bye bye because they sound similar, right? You can try to pronounce ba ba. Ba ba, bye bye, yes, to show uh, goodbye. Next number, jiu, jiu, ba ba, yes. Now you cannot ba ba. You need to continue. Jiu. In ancient, this transcriptor's uh, original meaning is, uh, you can guess, you can guess, you, you can guess what what this transcriptor look like. You can guess the meaning. Uh, do you think it looks like a somebody's R? Yes, the number, this transcriptor's originally Meaning is arm. People borrow this transcriptor to show jiu, jiu, number nine, jiu. What's the meaning in cultures? N number nine, jiu, sounds like transcriptor, jiu means forever. So uh, it means eternal love. For example, in Valentine's Day or anniversary, young people will, young men will sing 99 roses or 999 roses to his lovers to show his internal love. Yes, it is true. But mm, 999 may be expensive, too much. But I think you can use nine roses to replace jiu. so next number shi. Shi. why does this transcriptor look like in ancient Ch chinese people use the vertical rod to show 10 and because Ancient Chinese characters are engraved in bronzeware. Bronzeware. So the middle of vertical rod are broadened because of the engraving. And as time goes by, it became a vertical line. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why uh, number 10, 十, looks like this four. In Chinese culture, 十, 10, means perfect and propitious. So, yes, I have noticed this question, Michelle. We can go back. 10 and 7, right? But the original meaning are different than 7 and 10. In Originally, the number 10, 十, only a vertical, vertical rod, but the 7 is not, right? Yes, you can think about how does the original form about 7. You weren't confused. What's the meaning of the 10? It means perfect and propitious for Chinese. It presents something God peak. So it's a good number two. Okay, let's practice again. 
show me what you have learned, please. Every number will have three squares. Write it. Yes. Very good. You have paid attention to the order to write it. Please read it. Can you read it? Michelle? Wu. Wu. Very good. Is it Wu? Wu. Good. So how about six? Nobody write six? Mm. Can you pronounce it? Is it Liu? Liu. Very good. Liu. Yes. Liu. Liu. Yeah. Liu. Mm, very good. So let's try other numbers. You can write. Mm, somebody write ba, uh, uh, ba, sorry, I pronounced it. Ba, you can repeat and follow me. So how about seven? Can you pronounce it? Qi. Mm, qi, qi, very good. Qi, it's not, not hard, right? Mm, here, this one I want to regret. Yes, yes. You can think about the original meaning about this Chinese character, separate. So the two strokes need to be separate. Got it? Mm, very good, separate. Ba, ba, okay. Next. Realize that she is upside down. Nine and ten. Have a try. Nine and ten. You can think about the Numbers original meaning. What's that look like? So somebody have a right number nine. Can you pronounce it? Jiu. 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 Very good. So number ten. How to pronounce it? Jiu. Shi, thank you. Shi, very good. Shi. Mm, shi, number 10. Now you have uh, understand the, and learn how to read and write 10 Chinese numbers, right? How about bigger numbers? How to read? Yes, we can learn how to read the bigger number. I will pick someone to read it and mm, review. This one, uh, Larissa, can you tell me what's the, this number? How to say that in Chinese? R. R, very good, R, very good. R. Let's another one. How to say that say twelve in Chinese? Hmm. Here I will introduce to you. Shi er. 
Next one. This chance character means hundred, bai, it's called bai. So this number, bigger one. How to say that? Liu bai, er shi, san. Can you understand? Liu bai, er shi, san. Liu. It's difficult. You can follow me, and you will you will learn that. How about thousand? This chance character thousand mean uh, in Chinese we call qian qian. So we will call that. Uh, if you think this part is a little bit difficult, difficult for you, we can discuss after this lecture. I will uh, explain for you detailedly, okay? Yes. And we can do the practice. Michelle, can you read this number? Um, jiu. Mm, jiu. Very good. Next one. Linda, are you here? Are you there? Yes. Um, qi shi liu. Very good. Qi shi liu. It's not very difficult, right? Qi shi liu. So, bigger one. Mm, who want to try to accept this challenge? Oh. Okay, Isabel. Um, do you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so would it be uh, 271? Yeah, 271 is okay, and 271 is okay, both okay. Okay, mm. 271, very good. And uh, here is a, another question. How about Chinese say 10,000? 10, 10,000. We use this trans character, one, one. Yes, it's different uh, from, this different from English, right? We use one to show 10,000. Sounds like number one in English. Uh, actually, yes, mm, one. This is the biggest, uh, it's the biggest challenge for you. This one. Somebody, anybody want to try this one? Maybe it's difficult. I can understand. R one. A san This san. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, Linda. Linda. Okay. Um, R one, U Qian, R Bai, U Shi, Su. Very good. Just the only the the um, only one number, Sun three Sun. Right. Oh. Um. Can you try the again? The bottom. It, the bottom line is partially obscured by the buttons. So I thought that was a two at the beginning. Okay. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good, Linda. Here, uh, next part. Um, one of the application about the numbers is to write check, right? In American 
when you write a check, the number and the spelling are both required. Are both required for avoiding cheating. Yes. So to China, the number and ancient form of Chinese numbers characters both are required too. In Ming Dynasty, in in order to avoid cheat, cheating, people use the ancient forms of Chinese characters number to write it, to write check or other things for calculating in order to avoid cheating. The pronunciation is same, but Chinese characters are different. Mm. Okay, next we can move on some uh, re relaxed part about the hand gesture. How do you show numbers? How do you show numbers with your hands? In China, we will do that to show E number one, E number two, R number three, San number four. Number five, Wu, and how about the other one? Number six, Liu, Liu. Here is an interesting thing. In Hawaii, people do that to show greeting or appreciation or kindness. But in Chinese, we do that to show six. So do you remember six, 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 Liu, Liu, Liu? What's the meaning? You can type your answer or open your Mac. Liu Liu Liu, what's the meaning? Awesome. Mm, awesome. Thank you. Very good. Next one, Qi, number seven, Qi. Number eight, Ba. Number nine, Jiu. Number ten, Shi. Shi, very good. Shi. So that's uh, that's a hand gesture about the numbers in Chinese. And let's do a very quick review about the 10 numbers. E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jiu, Shi. 10 numbers, right? So my part is over. Thank you.